speak to Crime Stoppers anonymously. They're on 0800 555 111. Michelle. Millions of us take to our bikes every week and Greater Manchester Police are determined to do everything they can to help keep cyclists safe. Last year, 3.5 million miles were cycled in the UK and in Manchester, more people than ever are taking to two wheels. But when cars and bikes share the road, things can go wrong. The latest figures for the city showed there were over 400 cyclists injured in road accidents in one year and three fatalities. Sharing the road responsibly has never been so important. To tackle the problem, Greater Manchester Police have launched a scheme to help motorists overtake bikes safely. And cracking down on those who don't. You must give a cyclist at least 1.5 metres. If you cannot safely overtake a cyclist, you hang back, you don't tailgate them and put them in under any pressure and just wait for a safe place to overtake. What they don't realise is that whilst they're inside their vehicle, that if you pass too close to the cyclist, it could result in putting them off riding forever. Kieran Derbyshire works as a cycle courier. But one day in May, one driver got a little too close. All I hear is this exhaust, and then that was it. Um, I just got belted. And my head hit the ground first, and the next thing I know, I've come to with people stood over me. Luckily, Kieran escaped without major injuries, but he's well aware things could have turned out very differently. My hips hurt, my ankles hurt, uh, my wrists and my back hurt, and I could not walk that well for maybe a couple of days, and I'd just be wobbling around. Probably wasn't until afterwards where it kind of kicked in that I've just been hit by a car. I'm quite lucky that I've, um, well, still around, really. Keen to cut down on collisions like this, today, Greater Manchester Police have come to sail in Trafford to pick up drivers who aren't obeying the highway code. But in order to catch them, they must take to the streets themselves. We'll act as a member of the public. We have cameras on the front and rear of our bicycle. We'd ride in the locations where the complaints have been received uh, and we will wait for a vehicle to drive close to us. PCSO Steph Payne is out on her bike and only minutes into the operation, she encounters her first near miss. A man in a black Ford Focus overtakes but comes too close for comfort. Driver, this way. Do you know how much space you should give a cyclist when you're overtaking them? For close passing, this man could face three points and a fine of £100. But instead, he's happy to accept the free education on offer today. So just jump out and I'll just show you some visual representation. You've got to give them at least one and a half metres, all right? What do you think if you can't safely overtake a cyclist, what will happen? Well, it's not going to end well for the cyclist. Exactly. The driver's learnt his lesson, but more keep coming in. A woman in a red Ford comes dangerously close. The red Ford Fiesta is coming at you, Phil. She's pulled over. Back it on there for us a second, please. Really, she should have hung back and waited till there was a clearing and put her indicator on, but she just decided to squeeze in between me and the vehicle in the second lane. So she has cameras on the front and rear of her bike and on her, on her uniform and she's not happy about the way that you've passed her. All right. I did see the cycling. Right. I'm not going to give you a ticket today. I didn't realise it was that close to the cyclist, but next time I will be thinking no, no. and go out a bit further. Today the team have caught seven drivers passing too close. But GMP are also encouraging members of the public to send in footage of incidents they've captured themselves meaning it's now easier than ever for those drivers to be held accountable. Avid cyclist Graham Cooper had a close call whilst riding with his granddaughter on the back. He sent the footage into Greater Manchester Police. It made me quite angry because if you were driving a car near to your own child, would you drive at 30 miles an hour, a foot away from them? I, I just can't understand that at all. During his 50 years cycling, He's encountered some bad road users. There are a small number of drivers 
who either aren't aware that they should be giving you more space or, uh, or in some very rare cases, actually are deliberately aggressive. But Graham's reassured by the proactive approach the police are now taking. In this initiative, I've submitted about 14 videos, and I know that um, some of those are going forward for prosecution. And there's confidence that it will actually go somewhere, that somebody who understands the issues, you know that they're actually going to take action. Officers hope that by reminding motorists how to share the road, they can save lives. That tarmac that we're driving on is not getting any bigger, it's not getting any wider, and we've all got to respect that road. We certainly do, and PCSO Gareth Walker, who you saw in the film there, uh, joins me now. Gareth, these near misses are really frightening, aren't they? They are, Michelle, and whether you're on a horse or a, or a cycle, you've got to make sure you, you give space to vulnerable road users. It's in the highway code, and you need to do it. And just last week, we actually saw uh, some footage that was submitted by a member of the public. We've got a clip of it now. You can see the cyclist going along, and the car just comes so close. That must have been terrifying for the rider. It must have been. And uh, the scary thing about it is if you see how close that cyclist is from that vehicle, it's millimetres for potential fatal or life-changing road traffic collision. And people don't realise that you must give vulnerable road users space. Mm -hmm. And as you've seen in the video, we're there to make our road safer in Greater Manchester. So how can people get things like this to you guys? Well, what you can do is through our Operation Considerate, which is our long-standing vulnerable road policing operation looking at road users, we're able to uh, look at the footage by online. So you send us a quick information via the email address, which will be on our website, mm -hmm. time, date, location, what's actually happened, and whether you're on a horse, a bicycle, or you're driving, and you capture a traffic offence, you can send that information to us, we will look at it, and we'll send it away for prosecution. The person you've just seen in the clip you've just shown will be currently receiving a uh, notice of intended prosecution for driving without due care and attention. That's fantastic, Gareth. Thank you very much. Um, it's worth mentioning that the scheme that Gareth was talking about there is only for people in Greater Manchester, but there are similar schemes happening in North Wales, West Midlands and Cheshire. And interestingly, Transport for Greater Manchester uh, want 10% of all journeys to be by bike by 2025. They've built 60 kilometres of new cycle lanes in the past five years and they run adult education uh, cycle classes just to increase people's confidence really uh, on the rules of the road and, and make them feel more comfortable. Uh, one of the cycle instructors is here with me now, Lawrence. So what kind of things do we teach people? To use more of the road, to make ourselves more visible. To try and encourage drivers to slow down. We do that by putting ourselves further out into the road. It seems counterintuitive, but it works because it makes drivers think about us. Nobody wants to run us down, but sometimes they don't think about us. So we teach cyclists to take possession more yeah. of more of the road. It's important being more visible, isn't it? hugely important and we don't do that by hiding by the pavement yeah so it's, as you said it's, it's raising that awareness and you can see people cycling around us now it's, it's good to get out there and, and, and feeling confident we, we, we see adult trainees from absolute beginners to yeah. professional cyclists almost yes. it's fabulous to watch Lawrence thank you very much I'll, I'll let you on your way I better thank get you. some practice in myself but thank you, get my helmet on and get going Ralph thanks Michelle lots more to come this morning including the footage that could help snare an armed gang. Will you recognise the Raiders?